what did you do after completing the uh, May or June 1969 quarter at the University of California? Objection is a form calls. Objection as to the form calls by narrative. Uh, Martin Samuels arrived in the summer. We paid for and got our. Uh, uh, we did a, com a communications course. He had set up um, his operation in the house, uh, along with a couple of other people. We did the communications course and then the uh, uh, the advanced communications course. Um, then we, um, after that, uh, my wife and I then we we did g paid for Dianetic auditing. We got Dianetic auditing, and then we paid for what you know what are called your grades, and we did our grades up through uh, up through grade four. And I guess by then it was probably be the end of the summer. And who were you paying for these uh, Dianetic auditing and, and grades? Martin Samuels. Now, as Martin Samuels, as far as you know at that time in the summer of 1969, was he the owner of the Dianetics and Scientology Center franchise? Yes. And where was that located? It started in a private house. Whose private house? Uh, one that he was just renting, just a large house. And how did, did you, uh, were you able to ascertain whether or not he actually owned a franchise? Later, yes. How, how much later? Uh, some months later when we, when he actually acquired um, property and, uh, and a building. Okay. Now, did you spend, you said it, when you finished, I think you said grade four in your diagnosis auditing, that was towards the end of the summer of 69. Did you spend all summer doing that? Section as to the form. Pretty much so, yes. It, but it was starting to also overlap with I wanted to be staff at the franchise. Somewhere in the, in the late summer, he acquired this um, building which had been formerly a an auto repair building so there was you know a couple of offices in the front and then several garages going back with large doors where cars would come in to be parked and several of us worked with him to um, paint it make it nice clean up the property get all the stuff out of there to start turning it into the place so we were overlapping that in anticipation of, of joining staff. Move to strike, not responsive to the question. In anticipation of joining staff where? At the franchise. <coughs> this is the franchise that he owned? Yes. And was there a name to this franchise? Um, I was just called Dianetics and Scientology of Davis. Was there any mention in any of the books that he provided to you that you read? that Scientology is a religion? If there was, it, it went by me and I wasn't interested. Was there any mention in the name of this franchise that it was a religion or a church? Objection as to the form? Not initially, no. Okay. Did you ultimately become a staff member of this franchise of Dianetics and Scientology Center at Davis? Objection as to the form? Yes. Uh, after after it opened, um, we joined staff and continued to uh, uh, take take training courses with him. Move to strike. Not responsive to the question. When you say you joined staff at this franchise, what, what did you have to do to do that? I don't know if he had it right then or later, but there was a little contract that we signed. And who was that contract with? Uh, that was with him for, uh, uh, what was it, I think it was a six-month contract originally, just, but that, that was later on the line. We, we had to pay for courses first, then later on we signed, and which allowed us to get some free courses. And a move to strike, not responsive to the question. Do you have a uh, time frame of approximately when you signed the six-month contract? No, I don't, but it'd be other than just late 69. And what was the purpose of signing the six-month contract? Well, because you um, you got free courses. You know, you get you get free auditing. You're not just merely paid, but uh, you also get you get free um, free training. Up to the signing of this contract with Martin Samuels at his franchise, 
Did you have to pay for auditing? Yes. Did you have to pay for courses? Yes. Is there anything you didn't have to pay for? Jackson has to form. Not until I signed the contract, no. Did your wife also sign the contract? I believe so, yes. Okay. And your wife's name at that time? Toby Young. I couldn't hear you. Toby Young. <clears throat> Okay, and as a staff member, what were your duties at this franchise? Um, I, I don't recall which came first, but... Um, okay, can, for the record, what, what year are we talking about? Late 69. That's what you're asking about that year? Yes. I, um, I don't remember which came first, but I gave the uh, what was called the PE lecture, which stood for personal efficiency. Um, basically, it was the introductory lecture. That was done basically once a week, but if we had some reason that a few other people came in, I would do it. You stood up for a half, it's, it's still done in all the organizations. You stand up and you basically explain Dianetics and Scientology to them in, in layman's terms. Uh, you explain the ARC triangle, you explain the dynamics, you, you, just, you just give a basic introduction at MICO for a half an hour. In those days we didn't have any films, we just did it all verbally. Um, afterwards then you, you and, or somebody else as a registrar would sign, try to sign them up for a course or sell them a book. So are, who are you giving this lecture to? Uh, people that did not know about Scientology, and in the case of Davis, uh, 90, not probably 98 percent of our people were, were students. Uh, and where did you give the lecture at? at? At the franchise, in the large front room, which was about as big as this, as this you know, room, you know, 20 by 30. And did you put on a minister's collar to give this lecture? Objection as to the form. No, there was no minister's collars. I, I never saw a minister's collar at the in my uh, two and a half years at Davis. Okay. And were there any crosses inside this franchise section as to the form? No. <coughs> Did your staff position uh, change during you said two and a half years at Davis? You're talking about the Davis franchise, right? Yes. Did your staff position duties change over the two and a half years? Well, it would be augmented because you can't do a PE lecture every day. Um, when I finished my Dianetics course, I became a professional Dianetics auditor, which meant somebody would come in and pay for auditing the way I originally paid for auditing, and I would audit them. Um, so I was a professional Dianetic auditor there, and I was doing some of that. Uh, then I also got into supervising the communications course. So um, I was a supervisor in the course. And so those are the three sort of internal to the organization. Supervisor uh, of what? The communications course. And, and you said what was the third one? Um, the professional diagnostics auditor, supervisor, communication course. And the PE lecture, intro lecture. <coughs> now, the intro lecture, personal efficiency lecture, that was given to people that walked in off the street, members of the public. Check the right to form and ask and answer. Is that right? Well, given where we were, they just didn't walk in because we were way off at the end of a dead-end street. So there were people that we had to have invited in who heard about us. Somebody else would bring them in, which is called body, body routing. Somebody would bring them in off the campus. So it's not that they just found oh, us. Okay. Objection. Let me just try non-response to the question, which was objectionable in the first place. 